So going to the tool, we start with keyword explorer. All right. Um, so a quick walkthrough. Um, we got a lot of questions. Um, the first question is, what is the source of data that we use? Um, actually, unlike many other keyword tools out there, we're trying to get the source of data directly from the core source, which is Google, right? If you want to do SEO, it's, 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 it's to rank on Google. So we figure if you want to rank on Google, you better get data from Google. You know, that's where they get the um, data from, and that's where they determine uh, whether or not this keyword rank or, or not. So um, uh, a lot of people would ask, like, where, what source from Google is actually from Google Keyword uh, Planner and uh, as well as Google Suggest database. So the way we do it, we actually build our own, we call it um, double scanning algorithm. Uh, in fact, that's, that's how we actually get a, a lot more keywords, um, uh, ideas than comparing to many other tools. Uh, I mean, com with just this keyword winter close, as you can see here, we come up with about 4,000 different keyword ideas. And the way we did it is, is to um, kind of build our own um, <clears throat> algorithm um, to scan and to duplicate the amount of keyword that relevant to the main core keyword that you did. So that's to answer the source where I will get, uh, we get our data source and how we get so many ideas. So um, I'm sure the people, uh, I'm sure you guys that who joined the webinar are probably already watch our, watch my uh, tutorial videos, you know. Um, so I'm not going to go into so much details of what many of this function does, uh, but today I will go into more in depth of some of the key function uh, in which set us really set us apart from many other keyword tools out there. The first function is own title. So own title is what is own title? I'm sure if any of you guys, you guys do familiar with SEO would know that uh, own title essentially is um, to find how many keywords. Um, well, if you, you, the own title data is to figure out how many competitor or websites that actually carry the keywords, like for example, this keyword, right? Oh, let's close this for now Then get refreshed back to general. How many um, the websites that actually carry this uh, keyword as their title, right? So any of these data would show that, okay, for example, winter close and the own title would be 881,000, meaning that 881,000 websites out there actually have this winter close keyword as their title. <clears throat> so you don't want to compete with that. Right, you really have to figure out um, a, a, a keyword that have a low own title data, right? A low own title data meaning that um, these keywords, uh, the there's not there's less. For example, it's less than ten. If this number is less than ten, then you would be able to figure out, like for example, this um, zero zero. So we have well, zero zero. Winter close don't stuff. You know, it's some random random keywords like this would have own title by zero because nobody right now actually write a piece of content that has this as their own title, um, <clears throat> as their title. So we figure out a way to, when we were studying the um, KGR kind of concept, we figure out that there's actually, there's no tool out there in the market that offer bulk checking own title, meaning mass checking. If you give them about 4,000 keywords, can any of the tools out there figure out a way to send us back the data of own title, all these 4,000 keyword. Actually, there's none. Well, so far, that's that's my experience. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some of you may, may, may see some, you know, other tool that could do that. But, and that's when it come up, uh, that's when it pushes us to develop this, this bug checking own title. So when you develop own title bug checking, one of the, one of the key thing, one of the key figures that own title will offer you is to figure out, um, to find for you the keyword Goran ratio. So the concept keyword Goran ratio was actually brought up by, um, actually, sorry, I forgot his name, but essentially he was writing a piece of, of, um, of, of content in saying that how he was, uh, how he defined keyword, keyword Goran ratio. <clears throat> but the holes in the, his argument is that he only able to build keyword Goran ratio with keyword that has volume about 250, right? Search volume of about 250. And um, the problem is that is, with thousands of keywords, there's a lot of keywords that actually have search volume more than that. So as you can see here, we actually develop a two tip here. We have to develop our own um, <clears throat> sort of formula to find golden keyword ratio. And it's equal, golden keyword ratio by our definition is equal to O in title, divided by search volume and multiplied by class ratio. This is a ratio we uh, have to come up with to 
so that it could kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, what is it put the weight more into keywords that with higher volume and lower volumes, right? So you can see here level one is top value keywords, it's which has low in title competition and very high search volume. So the Q KGR range would be from zero to thirty. So medium value keyword would be on the second range is from 30 to 70 and high competition would be anything above 100, All right? So you, you want to, once the moment you find all entitled, you will want to look for KGR that is less than 30. So over here, you could actually simply do a type apply, and there it is, you will see a KGR of this and you can do a, oh, sorry here. Yeah, here we go. So if if I do it this way, you will see KGR from zero and you turn over here, you will actually see a lot of very good keywords over here. And you can actually exclude some of the keywords. Karen, for example, uh, near me, for example, uh, Walmart, sales online, job line, that is. Then you have keywords like winter clothes for toddler. We're all in 20, 23, but volumes of 1,600. That's a very, it's, it's the kind of keyword that actually give you a competitive edge compared to many other keywords out there. And most of these keywords are actually long tail keyword. As you can see here, length are probably around from four to five to six to seven. So these are not short keyword. It's almost give you like this superpower to access this amazing long tail keyword that very low competition and essentially you can easily compete with many other bigger player right um as you can see here so um that's one of the way to do uh kind of filter um all in title right so by doing this any content writer or digital content writer will be able to kind of right away figure out a list of keyword that has the keyword golden ratio and pick them out well, one of the things I do is I want to save this, right? There's a 440, 14 keywords selected here. I want to save it to a list. Winter clothes. AGR. All right? I save to this list for now. Why? I'll show you later. So next, uh, we have the keyword cluster, right? So today I want to go more, a bit more in depth into keyword cluster. What does keyword cluster do? So um, keyword cluster essentially is the tool where we were running through our own problems when we were doing it. And, and when we were trying to look for, uh, for a solution, we only find very few. Um, I think keyword Cupid and also cluster.ai is another two options out there that actually do cluster, uh, keyword cluster, but they're two only purely do cluster, right? So essentially what it does, um, it, is, it is by all means, um, they will take a large set of keywords, right? And they run through uh, this algorithm. They base, essentially what it does is they will check the subs um, standings of every single keyword in the list. For example, for this keyword data, there's all these 4,000 uh, 4, keywords over here. We'll check the top 10 subs data of each of these every keywords. And then we have to run a comparison algorithm to make sure we have to, we want to check if any keywords that actually have similar subs ranking. So for example, over here, you will see woman heavy winter clothes. So the keyword woman winter clothes, woman winter jacket, long, win long winter coat woman. These are all the keywords that actually have similar subs ranking, right? So if you search on Google, you will see that the top 10, likely the, the likelihood of of three, well, 100% there's a likelihood of, of three top rankings in the top 10 are actually matching together. And that's when we, that's when you can cluster this keyword together, knowing for sure 100%, these are all the keywords that Google, Google understand and scan and think that they should be grouped together in terms of meaning. So when we were doing it the manual way, right, we have to actually spend time to train our employee okay, this is how you kind of cluster them together. You have to look at this list. You have to pick and choose. These are all of the definitions. You have to look for similarities. You have to look for backlinks. You have to look for all kind of stuff. And then you can cluster them together, but they're all still based on pure assumption. But with this algorithm, it's 100% sure 
that the cluster will actually be right. And you don't need to train anyone doing this. And that's the amazing part of cluster, um, the cluster function. You know, I wish I could say a little more in, in depth of how amazing and how much time it saved me um, in, in, in doing our work, right? Um, so as you can see here, from a keyword list of 4,000 keywords, you we come down to this just cluster for you with different topic for you to do. And if you, you usually will want to, if any of these topic that you think that you want to write about, um, you could actually just save them together in your list uh, content piece, for example, one, click add. And that's it. You save it into your list for later use. For example, when you start writing about thick worm legging, right, you will actually will be able to access this keyword list and add it into the keyword, um, the, the, the content writing that you need to write. And that's it. If any of these keyword rank, the, le the rest will rank. So that's keyword cluster. Um, um, again, I mean, this is like one of my favorite function. And um, the, that's the reason why we want to go in details. And over here, you know, I, I we also do export function. So that's this is where if you um, if you actually want to uh, collaborate with other team member outside of, of your work and you want to send this work to um, other content writer outside of your circle, you simply just select um, just export all, and it will come to a, a Excel sheet, and then you can send this to any of the writer out there and tell them, okay, I want to write all this. Um, uh, <clears throat> topic, you know, and these are all the keywords that I want to be included in there. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's cluster. And, um, and the last one um, I want to talk about is insights. So um, I mean, many of you, if you do content writing, you're probably very familiar with uh, to uh, answer the public, right? We essentially get the idea from them. I, we, and we thought that's such a very cool idea, right? I mean, um, essentially what it is, is that we take the, we take from this um, uh, data source, these are all the keywords that people search, right? And 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 any search that come from Google actually could actually represent the search intent of the users. And with the search intent comes with the ability to build a persona of the user um, for your writing or for your understanding when you build um, your content strategy, right? So when you look at content strategy, for example, winter clothes, you want to know what are the type of questions that people ask surrounding that main keyword, right? Um, for example, here, we list down all these key, the questions that um, people will actually ask on Google. So this is a legitimate question coming from legitimate search intent from Google, from users, from actual users. So through this um, view, you will be able to kind of right away categorize, okay, this is, this is, this is my target market. The people who, uh, who look for winter clothes, they have a tendency to to look for winter clothes for baby, for example, you know they ask a lot of questions regarding baby, um, or winter clothes that uh, style winter clothes, pack or layer. So suddenly you realize that okay, these are all the needs or the search intents of our users, and you can from there kind of build a persona of your um, users, um, target users, for you to kind of build a very effective uh, content strategy. Um, so that's. You know, we also build in preposition, uh, comparison, alphabet, and numerical. I mean, you can definitely play around. I'm sure you already did. Um, so we, with this tool, essentially what we want to do is um, we uh, we build, uh, we, we, we also, we just actually test embedded uh, more um, ASREF data, so third-party data for you to actually for review. So over here you will see backlinks. You have a referring domain, UR, DR kind of function. You can click on here for to see a domain do overview. Um, we will actually in our future um, updates. We'll actually embed a lot more of this data into uh, some of our um, um, keyword data as well for you to have better picture as preference uh, <clears throat> for your strategy. So you see with 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 filtering system here with all this filtering, with a breaking down of different tabs. Um, also, you can click on any of these keywords. You know, actually a lot of people don't know this. We also develop our own keyword difficulty algorithm. Uh, I can't share with you so much in detail yet because we are actually trying to close um, in the, um, like finalizing our algorithm to make sure that we have one of the, uh, the most concrete, in my opinion, um, 
<clears throat> definition of keyword uh, difficulty when we look at certain keyword, right? So over here, I just want to briefly go through keyword by AdWord is is the definition by Google. You know, um, is this keyword very difficult to to uh, uh, or very high competition in terms of when you when you run at PPC, right? It's it's it does represent for SEO as well a harder a harder keyword to to run ads for is also a harder keyword for SEO. There's a correlation. Um, second thing is content. How many con? How much uh, content? How many content pieces? Almost like Owen title. How many contents are actually um, are being written in in regard to this keyword? Right? Is this keyword easily ranked by content? Is it very comparative in terms of content? Um, signal. Signal is social signal. You know how much social signal are being buying are being built or being um, uh, kind of uh, talk about? Is this keyword being talked about on many other social channel? You know, um, so we want to kind of look into that, and also traffic. Is there is this keyword a uh, very high in search volume? If it's very high, meaning it's also very difficult to to keyword to to achieve SEO. So we kind of try to embed it four different perspectives, four different different angles um, into one single difficult uh, keyword difficulty to build an algorithm around it. Um, we 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 almost we are very close on on finalizing into the definition. So once we are, we're definitely going to be sharing with you a bit more on our next webinar. So but um, essentially this is this is a this is our kind of uh, own version of keyword difficulty. So essentially you will be able to access uh, Ahrep data as well for keyword difficulty for your preference. Um, so that's what we're working on in, in our future update. So yeah, so that's um, that's keyword uh, that's keyword explorer. I hope, you know, um, besides the tutorial, this will be something that really help you guys um, to, 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 uh, <clears throat> to make the best out of this, you know.